we're on our last day of our cycling trip we're in reims and we are going to go to tattinger in reims and try and look at the champagne bottles in the old roman chalk uh, caves it is fully booked in english right but in french it's not and they can take six fantastic oh, let's do it just ask the question easy yeah. well, Régularité dans nos arômes. Okay? Donc, comme le groupe réserve par exemple. Mm -hmm. Une fois que l'on a nos 8 vins assemblés dans nos cubes, on passe au tirage. So we're here in the champagne cellars at Tattinger in Reims. It's been a very fascinating uh, insight into how champagne is being made. Um, just really recommend for anybody to come and see this uh, because it just is deeply fascinating in a very historic place. Uh, there are something like 25 million bottles of champagne in just this cellar and it's the uh, top shelf stuff. Gentlemen, what's going on? We're sussing out the hatch. The 1966 bottle is down that hatch and there's a hole in the wall that we can actually jump through. We can bypass the gate and we'll get through it. Shard Bike Protection Services. Reims, France. No one dare steal bikes from Shard. Hey everyone, we've uh, left Reims and we have taken the train to Lyon. Today is a particularly hot day, it's between 35 and 38 degrees, so we shorten the light right a bit. But it's another delightful day, we're all on our bikes, we all have smiles on our face, and we're on our way back to Vervans to see if we can score a bottle of Tattinger. Ooh. You organized this trip, you had been planning this really for two years before COVID. From when you were sitting in front of the computer with a beer, you know, in 2019, 2020, thinking, I might do this, what was different? And, and what really worked out beyond your expectations? It actually happened on day one when we were in Paris, uh, having, uh, sitting there and having a drink with my friend Rick. Uh, it was surreal to have this familiarity in a foreign country. I certainly feel that I've got to know the people that I went with a lot better and I, I already knew that they were awesome people but the level of awesomeness in my mind has increased. Uh, it's just been, and, and I think like a lot of people said, you know, I had this expectation of some great riding and actually to be honest with you, the riding has been better than I thought it was going to be, eh? But really it's been the in-between stuff, the time we spent together, the drinks we've had, the side chats, uh, just sharing that experience with everybody has been way beyond my expectation. And like the chateau is fairly big, but we spend most of the time in the kitchen, you know, connecting, talking, laughing, um, extending what we do in Sydney. And that for me has been the most awesome thing. So actually, before we kind of wind this up in France, a huge thank you to the people that came that had the kind of vision and belief to step outside themselves and to do something that for me was just awesome. You know, this, this was hatched around a beer and a table at something we call Abcamp. Um, and for people to kind of believe in each other, not just, just me, but each other, and pitch up and have the imagination to do some things would be awesome. And look, we raised a nice bit of money for charity as well, which is really what the music is about. I think the, the highlight at a personal level was staying at the Chateau with you and Ahmed, uh, and you know, getting a good sense of understanding of your family uh, with gratitude and thanks to your mum and dad. Uh, you know, for having had this opportunity and to actually explore something, explore a place where every night you're not going back to a hotel, you're actually going back to a home. And that's, that's a massive difference. And Shad, thank you for making us all feel at home and making the place our home as well as you said. 
what I expected was we would have some great rides in, in great countryside around France and the Chateau probably o was overwhelming in terms of it's, it's a fantastic house but it's, it's all the other things that we've done on the side as well we, we have some great rides in great French countryside the camaraderie but then we've, we've actually had a bit of time to sort of go out sightseeing together and have, have fun together um, and that's probably the bit that I hadn't factored in quite as much um, because I sort of in the planning we'd, we'd focus on the rides where we would be where we'd be staying and the sort of logistics of it all um, and, it, and it has been fantastic every step of the way so thank you very much well I see it, I see it in the beginning I wanted the real French experience and I think I've probably got a real French experience when everybody starts um, staring as, at you as if you're alien from space in Lycra <laughs> <laughs> must, that, that must be authentic. <laughs> um, obviously, in a place that uh, tourists don't obviously frequent a lot. But uh, apart from that, the, uh, the side trips to um, to uh, you know to, to to Belgium and to uh, Rams, Reims, whatever you call it, the uh, concert in the um, Gothic Cathedral in uh, Laon was such an experience. Enjoyed it. Expectations and what have you enjoyed? Expectations? What I thought was we would be going out on a set sort of a route and that we had planned to do so many kilometres per day and that, but it was a lot more relaxing than that. We went with the flow, the weather changed, uh, it got very hot, but we all worked out that to ride safely and have a great time. But what I didn't expect to actually happen was to go away with such a great bunch of guys who could laugh at themselves. It's really nice for, for men to actually be able to uh, joke around, but also be able to take a joke from somebody else. And I think we have all learnt from this experience that... Yes, Chris? <laughs> I, I think we have all learnt from this experience how, how to look at yourself and go how to have fun and actually there is a happy side of life and to get get on well together and that is very healthy for each other so yeah and thank you to Shard for hosting us and, and planning this fantastic cheers <laughs> um, I, I've done a France trip before a French cycling trip before which was brilliant absolutely brilliant but it was a little bit it was a little bit lonely in some ways. I trained really hard for it and it, it really allowed me to challenge myself and I achieved some really good cycling goals. Uh, this was very different because this one, it was probably more, so, it was a lot more social. It was like a, a group ride on steroids in some ways. And I don't mean because we were speeding along, but we were exploring little towns, we were getting lost, we, we found some amazing places to ride and it was all together. It wasn't just this lonely experience climbing the mountain, which was fun, but this trip, being around the, the crew and, and doing this together and exploring and, and finding places and learning about them was probably something I didn't expect and probably something I really, really, really enjoyed. It's, it's kind of woken up that aspect of cycling for me. So yeah, looking forward to the next one. Parfait. So you got any ideas for our next cycling trip? Oh, hmm, I've got this, like outline, and I think we should go to Italy. Italy's great. Mm. And I think we should go to this tiny region called Como. Mm. And there's a bit of a pond that you can go around. Mm -hmm. And there's rumors that Clooney serves up an espresso in this specific part of town. Only because. HC, so it must be a week, is it? Oh no, this is 62. This is what you for sale. 78,000? 